Hello Team Taurus, it's Empire333 here with their Love Tarot card reading. I hope you're all well and safe wherever you are on planet Earth. So guys, um, for those of you who are new, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Or if you're dealing with a Taurus, you are welcome to watch. And I might extend this video for further spiritual advice. And that link will be down below. If Spirit guides me to, I'll let you know during the video. And also, yeah, if this resonates with you, if this story resonates, then follow me there. If it doesn't, then it's not your story, guys, okay? But even if some of it is true, that means that it's going to happen to, for you in the future, okay? Because also in the extended, I give future outcomes um, and uh, predictions, okay? And advice about your situation or what you should do based off of what's going to happen, okay? So, Taurus, let's get into it. I feel like a lot of you are kind of not, you know, you're, you're not taking any action, okay, when it comes to this romantic connection. I feel like a lot of you, what you're doing is you're, fake, you're facing things on the home front okay so there's something going on with home you might want to move i feel like there's some situation at home that is uh, requiring all your focus okay and a lot of you it's it's not making you feel safe so we got archangel michael here with the first chakra root chakra so maybe it could be due to family issues or um I mean, sorry, I, I meant financial, but maybe it could be family issues also, okay, because it, it is domestic. So what I feel here is because you don't feel safe, because some of you are in lack energy, like I don't have enough or I, 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 I don't have what I need or, you know, where are all my resources, um, it's that kind of a feeling. A lot of you are kind of holding back what you want to say to this person, okay? You're holding back communication. This is Archangel Gabriel here with the throat chakra. And Taurus, you're ruled by the throat chakra, okay? So that makes total sense that it's like you're, hold, you're biting your tongue or you're holding back what you want to say to someone. And it has a lot to do with like, okay, you're thinking, all right, I need to take care of this myself and whatever this person um you know whatever situation you're in with with this person it's like it's kind of um it's not going anywhere with what you're saying so some of you it's like you're thinking to yourself i need to take care of me and my you know my financial status, my home status first, and then I'll worry about you. It's that kind of a feeling. So you're at the cross, you are at some type of a crossroads in your life where you're holding back, you know, communication from someone, okay? So what I'm also seeing here, we'll get into the tarot in a second, guys, with both energies, but what I'm seeing here is there definitely needs to be some type of heart healing here because... <coughs> You have a soul contract with someone, okay? And it's a lot of disappointments lately you have with this person. This person could have hurt you. They could have broken your heart. And what I'm seeing here is that like a break is needed, Taurus, is what I'm getting from spirit. A break is needed. You need some space from this person. Okay, and here we have, it's kind of like, I feel like, you know what this, this is, the escape, okay, wow, escape. I feel like some of you, um, it could be you or your person or both of you, you just want to pack up your bags and leave together, okay? Like initially that would be, that would make you feel good, but some of you feel like, you know, Maybe it's not it's not gonna work out like I wanted it to. Okay, there are things that will come into balance is what I'm seeing. Okay, but this has a lot to do with how you both heal. Okay, healing the heart space. So maybe forgiveness is needed. 
on your part or your person's part, um, Taurus, but the feelings have to be, and this is going to take some time, okay? Some of you have this, um, you have a time in your mind where you're like, okay, this has to happen by this time, right? For example, this, this has to be cleared or this has to work out um, by this time, but um, Spirit is saying here, you got to have patience because healing is needed. This is Archangel Raphael with the heart chakra, you all. The fourth chakra is the heart. So this has to do with disappointing, like I feel like it's disappointing energy, okay? But if you look at this, you are he you are learning something throughout this that you will, um, it will benefit you in the long run. So keep in mind you are learning, Taurus, okay? So let's get into your person's energy, okay? So Taurus, what I'm getting from this, okay, hold on. What I'm getting from this, Taurus, oh, shut up. They're like, hold on, pull the bottom card. Taurus, like this person really wants to move things along with you. They do. They want things to move forward with you very fast, as much as you do. They feel this insane connection with you, okay? It might be insane in a good and a bad way, right? Um, there is emotional fulfillment here. I feel like this person um, sees you as definitely a strong soulmate connection, okay? As there is emotions. There's a lot of emotions involved here, okay? They just want to be with you. And I just heard they want to be away with you. So what is this about this escape? It's like they want to escape with you. So Taurus, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, okay. Is this... Okay, all right. Okay, guys, so what I feel here <clears throat> is that somebody has a lot of heaviness. Um, they got a lot of responsibilities on them. This could be karmic. This could also be someone who is taking advantage of this person. So it kind of is like this, um, there's this energy. I don't know who this is, Taurus. You know your, whoever this is, this represents. But I feel that this person doesn't feel valued by someone else and it's becoming heavy. It could be they owe someone something. It could be like they, they're they responsible for this person. Okay, It doesn't have to be a female. It's a feminine energy though. It could be like it doesn't have to be romantic either. It could be for some of you. You know your story, right, Taurus? I don't need to tell you, whoever this is. It could, this could be a mom. Someone's mom. It could be a sister. It could be a brother. Or what, whoever this is, right? I feel that this person wants to release this so that they can move because they're stuck is what I'm getting. They're stuck. You feel stuck, Taurus. And it's like this person wants to take the actions necessary. But with in this energy, they feel like they can't. Right now, they're having a really rough time um, taking action towards you. Whatever action they need to take towards you, which you've been waiting for, I feel. And that's why you're like holding, you know, your tongue. You're not saying anything because you're like, I know. I know what, what's going on. Okay? Yeah, I'm definitely going to continue this reading, Taurus. Okay? I'm going to see what this person is going to do because I feel that it's like this person is trying to get their, you know, what they say, the ducks in the row. I don't even know who says that. Spirit, it's like spirit uses <laughs> the funniest analogies. I mean, do you all use that? Get your ducks in a row? Like what? Okay, so um, Taurus, 
I feel like this person doesn't have the faith or doesn't have, they don't want to take a risk right now to make that move with you. They want to, but they don't have the, they can't gamble right now, okay, is what I'm getting. So right now with their predicament of this person, this person, whoever this is, that they owe something to or they feel they owe something to. Like some type of a, some dedication or loyalty. I don't know what this is. I feel that your person, it's like because of this. Look at, this is in the center of your reading. Can you all see that? How it's in the center, okay? <clears throat> Look at that. Because this is so strong. It's like they want to move it forward, Taurus. But this person, the ode, ode, the... Okay, now my spirits are talking in Old English. Wonderful. Um, I, I understand that, but it's, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be hard for you all because <laughs> um, I've let, read a lot of literature in my life, in my education. So, um, yeah, they have some type of like, what is it called? What's another better word spirit than like, they feel like they owe it to someone. They I don't know what, okay, it'll come. Taurus, it'll come, it'll come, okay? But this person, does, because of this blockage, this feels like a blockage to me. They feel like it's a blockage. They feel like this heavy energy, okay? Um, this, you know what I just got? This could be someone's dad too, because, you know, your, the, your dad could be the feminine energy, okay? So this has also um, to do with like them have not having enough strength. They're really tired. Your person is tired, okay? They're tired of this BS. It's like they signed up for it, but they're tired, you know? Maybe they signed up for it because it has something to do with a contract, a family, or something like that, okay? They feel responsible is what I just heard. Okay, I'm going to get into your energy, Taurus. Let's see how you feel. I feel like you feel like you're stuck, okay? Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Look at this. Stuck. Hangman. I can't make this up. You see how my spirits are ahead of my hands? Ahead of my shuffle? So, Taurus, I feel that some of you are waiting for an apology. You're just trying to be as kind as you can, as much as you can with the energies this person is giving you. Um, and some of you might be waiting for an apology for this person for being late, okay? For, for all the delays they are causing you at this time. I feel like there's a lot of delays you don't know what to do, but you do feel the same for this person. We got two tens of cups here, okay? This person brings you emotional fulfillment. However, I feel that because whatever this is, they are not giving you things equally. So you kind of feel like, wait, wait a minute here. This person is giving more to this, whatever this is, right, guys? And that's not fair for me. That's not equal. And I don't care who this person is. So that's how you feel at this time, okay? You want, you want to be the person that this person gives to, okay? And it's not only with emotions. I feel like it's like, I want, I want you to take care of me too. Or us too, if you have, you know, children. You want this person to put a very solid effort into this connection, okay? 
And I feel like some of you, it's like you feel stuck because you're ready to expand. So it could be, guys, I don't know. I'm getting different scenarios. That's why I want to do an extended for this. So it could be like, okay, I want to start my, my new business. I want to start my new job. I want to move. I want to, you know, move out of an apartment to a house. I want to... Um, for example, I want I don't want to rent anymore. I want to purchase a property. So I feel like this is a time for you to grow. Taurus, I was going to say Aries. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries. You should watch their reading too if you are or if you have Aries placements. Um, I wanted to say Aries twice. Crazy. Okay. So, but it's like that's why you feel stuck. You're thinking, you know what? All you're doing is causing me delays to this person. You're causing me delays in my life, right? So. You know how you feel, Taurus, okay? You're usually, okay, whoever energies I'm picking up on. Bottom. Okay. Oof. Taurus, I love this energy. You know how you feel? Okay, this person, I'm telling you, they they have the hots for you. Like, there's no question. Because there's so much fire in this reading, right? Fire. I mean, cups too. Like, there's a lot of love here. A lot of deep feelings, okay? Even if this person is not expressing them so much, I feel like there is. But, you know, I feel that you're this person's, like, you're in this person's wish wishes. They want to be with you, that's for sure. But what I'm getting here, Taurus, is this person is making you question the power you have over them. The power you have over them. Because it's kind of like you feel out of power. You feel powerless because this person is giving more to this situation than to you and whatever represents you and so forth okay they have been doing that and and it's it, it's very interesting because you do have a great power over this person it's just that they have a very heavy i feel it's a contract karmic contract with someone I, I, I also got a home. So I don't know if this person owns a home and it's like they own it with someone else or they're like something about assets I'm getting here. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah. It's kind of like Taurus. You're usually the type where like, okay, I can manifest everything, whatever. But in this situation, you feel stuck. What else? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wow. This person is avoiding a argument, a fight with you. Okay? Look at that. They're stuck too. So guys, if if you and your person are not on speaking terms, it's because they're avoiding an argument. You know, Aries got the same thing. But yeah, they feel stuck, okay? They feel stuck. They're going over in their head about what to do about this, how they can get out of their situation. They're not they're not being straightforward with you, okay? I'm not saying they're lying to you, but I feel like this person has some type of plans about some type of move that they want to make. And they have not shared that with you, but this person is really up in their head. I wouldn't be surprised if this person is not sleeping whatsoever, if they're like up at four or five in the morning. I mean, you would know if you check their social media, right? I feel like this person is trying so hard to get their mind off of the fact that they are stuck, okay? But I feel like they're planning some type of moves up in their head when it comes to you and them but they're not sharing it with you. They're not being communicative. They're holding back. 
You might feel like this person is pushing you away, Taurus, okay? But we'll get into the extended. So what we're going to go into the extended is what this person's next moves are, okay? What is coming for you? If you don't want this person, fine. We'll see what's coming in for you. And also advice about the situation from spirit, what to do for your highest and best, and whatever else is coming in for you that is non-romantic related. Taurus, I hope that you have liked this video and it's resonated with you. Let me know in the comments and like this video if you did. Subscribe if you already have not. I'll see you in the extended down below. If not, I wish you all the best and peace out.